Welcome back everyone. Got a special order in and basically we are going to make a custom print. So we will start with your favorite search engine, Bing. And this particular client was very particular as far as what they wanted. Alright, so we found exactly what we wanted. We will right click and we will save this. And of course, as you're saving these files, if it's a PNG file or a JPEG file, you're in good shape. If you don't see one like that, you can use the snipping tool, in which case you can select the item that you want, and of course you can save it. But since we found the JPEG, we're going to move over to the next section. Alright, so I keep going back to this site. At some point, they will go out of beta, in which case uh, there's pricing on their site. But I found this is one of the best types to convert uh, an image to a, an SVG file. You can do it manually, um, but there's more steps. Alright, so we'll drag that in. And you can shrink this a little bit. Let it process. All right, that is good. Download. Keep everything the same. Download again. Here's our file. All right, we're done with the net. Open up Bamboo Studio. Drag this in. All right, now since this is large, we will shrink this down. Go to scale. Bring this down. It's a good size. And usually when you bring in one of these items, you can shrink down the Z height. Let's make this one millimeter for now. Now, when you first open up Bamboo Studio, uh, you're probably in the, um, the global settings. You can, again, switch to objects process, uh, advanced, because we're advanced users. And if you've noticed, you, you've only had one color. Even if you don't have an AMS, you can actually hit the plus button, and you can add up to 16 colors. Now, obviously, if you don't have that uh, automatic material system, then, of course, it won't change colors, but this will help you uh, color your item. Now, let's say that you don't want all of this outer edge over the image. Uh, if we right-click, we can actually split this into objects. The nice part about the Vectorizer AI is actually will let us take out any part... Oh, click out of this image. So this we don't need. So we'll just delete that. And we want to recombine all this together. Otherwise, we have pieces missing. We're going to hit undo. Hold down shift. Select the entire model. Right click and assemble. And just, of course, double check that everything is back together. It should all move together. And we can actually right click and center this. Perfect. Now on to coloring. Now, if you have an AMS system, uh, normally this gets filled up um, all its own. Let's sync this. But if it doesn't, uh, you can actually change the colors by going anywhere here. This will only change the colors within Studio. doesn't actually change it at your AMS because of course you would have to change the, uh, the filament. Now each part that you see over on the left uh, represents a portion of your model. Um, in this case I want the actual base layer of this entire print to be black. So you can uh, basically just right click over here, go to change filament, and we'll set that as one single color. Now from here, we can start our painting. So 
going to go to the fill bucket, choose our color, and start coloring in. Let's do this. All right, so that looks good. Actually, that looks terrible. Let's start here and here. I don't know how I missed that. Now we are in better shape. All right, so we can hop out of the paint. We will double check a few things. So again, I want the base layer to be black, so all of that will come out black and then the outline, and then all the colors. Let's slice the plate, see how it looks. All right, I think we've got it. See you on the other side. Okay, now we can do some extra stuff since we now have a working model. I'm going to open up a new plate. We are going to copy this, so right click, clone. And we just need one for now. All right, we're going to go over to this plate. And it's going to center this for a moment. And we're going to make some keychains. So we will right click on this. And we will go to add a negative part, and I want a cylinder. Hit OK. And this is our negative part. And go a little closer. And we're going to scale this. And give Hello Kitty a, an earring. At the moment, that negative part is floating, so we'll have to bring it down. So we will click over on the Move tool, hit the blue, and bring it down until we're piercing the model. Bring this up just a smidge. And make this a little bit smaller. So go back to scale. And of course you can adjust to your liking. And again, we'll make sure that we're still piercing the model. Best way to test it is go to slice plate, and we should see a small hole. Perfect. All right, now this will be a relatively large keychain, so we need to shrink this. So go back to prepare, and then we will go back to scale the entire model. And we're going to shrink this. So grab a corner, shrink, shrink, shrink. Let's slice it again to make sure our hole stays. In a good spot. All right, that looks good. Now, since this will be a keychain, we might need to make it a little bit thicker. So we'll go to Z height by going back to scale. We will make this one millimeter. again. Alright, so this will have five layers. Now I'm actually going to flip this so it prints on this side so we get a texture. But I wanted to show you what it looks like first. And to flip that, click it, go over to your lay on face. Click it, and then we just flip this. And we want to fill the build plate up. So right click, fill bed with copies. All right, slice. All right, and I'll see you on the other side.
Okay, so that wraps up this video. If you have any comments or concerns, please leave them in the comments. Thank you.